me say body paint, I remember, I remember the, the Bond girl who was covered in body paint suffocated because of well, that. Well, yeah, that, she had like legs. Yeah, and if you, if you, if you, you cover yourself in your body and it's more tired, when I wore it was deep, mm -hmm. it tired me out, but I was wearing blue. Yes. So, yes. But if you're covering your face, it's, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's just, I mean, I, I got body painted in gold that one time and that was not very pleasant, <laughs> you know, but, you know, you just kind of deal with it. It's not going to, it's not going to be harmful or something. Okay. You're not going to die like that girl. When did you do that? Um, that was for the mummy from, uh, yeah, that was for an XM moon from the mummy as oh. Dragon Yeah. So, Diamond Effects makeup is, like, Judy, I have some in the room. That's what I'm going to do Carmilla on okay. Sunday with, so I'll show oh, you. Oh, you're doing her again? Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, yeah, we're, I'm wearing that on Sunday. Uh, so, it's really easy to blend it. So, like, if you have blue and yellow, you can blend it into green or you can blend it into turquoise. You can like do certain degrees of it in order to give you like every shade of the rainbow. So that's the other cool thing about it. So like for uh, Carmilla, I only bought white and black because they don't make a pale vampire color. They just make white, black, <laughs> and blue. Like I'm probably gonna get purple next, so I can mix a little bit of purple in, but I'm gonna start, sort of do white mixed with a little bit of gray to shade. You know, I'm going to see how that goes. And, like, I did really dark um, around my around my cheeks because uh, I am not sunken in like she is. She looks really haggard. So I did my best, you know, to really emphasize my cheeks. I'm probably going to do a little more, like, really, you know, make myself, ugly myself up on Sunday. And, um... So this is like a really interesting example of doing very interesting eye makeup, but and then like just just ballsy out, crazy eyes, crazy lips. Who cares? She's crazy anyway. So. <laughs> That's always fun. Yes. How do you do a sweating? A what? Sweating. 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 Yes. Uh, I was actually gonna. That's the last thing I was gonna say. Um, the diamond effects does like come off when you sweat. So you uh, have to seal it in and they make um, they make makeup sealers there and a little spray. So stuff like that will definitely help you. Um, or if you're in a pinch, hairspray can seal makeup in. But step away from it because like if you are too close, it'll start to drip and it's not good. So just like really mist it on carefully. And don't breathe. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a this is an um, effect of this was actually airbrushed. Like the diamond effect, you painted on. Like um, the the Carmilla that was brushed on and sponged on. This is airbrushed on. And airbrush makeup is a completely different game. It's like you can do airbrush foundation, you can do airbrush eyes, you can do airbrush anything. And so she had like different like patterns of paper that you cut in different um, like shapes and then she would hold it against my face and then airbrush around it's so only that the wave would show and you know she did that with the, like the bubbles and everything and to pull off makeup like this you really you have to go out with the posing and sort of you know not care too much like you can't just pose like this <laughs> you have to be crazy uh, this was also airbrushed. This was a, another body paint that uh, we did years ago with Pasher. He's one of um, he's one of the respected body painters. But now, when I worked with him, he was still up and coming. <laughs> so this was also with different shapes, like diamond shades, and you know, this was like a gear shape that he kind of cut out. And so it's very interesting to see him work. I personally like being able to just draw and paint on with a brush because I feel like you have more control over, you know, how you do it and, you know, the shapes aren't going to come out all too symmetrical. So, yeah, he liked it half of my face and then he asked me to just do really, like, glamour, glamour makeup. Yeah, you can really see the difference. Yeah. Your face looks completely different in the two halves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a gesture. Just for me.
reminiscent of the half mask that they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right, we can talk a little bit about. Oh, I didn't show my Cleopatra. This was very Ooh. specific makeup too, like gold upon gold upon gold. It was just like I slathered on so much gold around my eyes, and for the lips, it was like a. Um, it was it was actually like an orangey lipstick, but then I took gold powder eyeshadow and I just like just dabbed it on, just like really dabbed it everywhere, and I did the Egyptian. I would walk around like this every day if they would not look at me funny. <laughs> so, um, Carry a little story oh. up, put the bangles everywhere you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, blush is important, but like good blush and bad blush can make so much difference. You know, just like layer it on. Don't don't go really dark at the beginning. You know, like little by little. Sometimes if I overdo it, I have to like wipe it off. And it's not good. Uh, and um, lipsticks, uh, I have a small collection growing up lipsticks, and lips are easy if you just know how to line them. Like for some costumes, you can get away with just doing lip gloss. That's fine. But for a lot of costumes, you're gonna want to line your lips, and um, whatever you line your lips in. The liner should be maybe a shade or two darker than the lipstick. And then when you apply the lipstick on, um, it will like, the liner will help keep your lips from bleeding. Like, especially if you're wearing red, always, always line your lips if you're wearing red. Because if you don't, it's going to bleed and then you're going to get like these little, you know, crevices of red around your mouth. And, that and then finishes off with gloss, because gloss also helps hold it on longer. So yeah, lips are very easy. It's just about like if you get your eyes right, you definitely are very far along. Um, and uh, for general makeup questions, you know, you can go online and look up tutorials. Um, you can look up tutorials on how to put on fake eyelashes, how to do your eyes, how to do everything. If you're still a little worried, you can go to a department store and just go to their makeup counter and be like, hey, you know, I need to do an evening look. Like, you don't have to tell them that you're cosplay. You don't have to tell them what character you're doing. You can just say, well, I have to look something like this. I have to wear a dress, and I have to sort of look, you know, glamorous. Or I have to look very natural and young and youthful. And then they'll actually go and to do makeup on you, and you can ask them, you know, how did you do that? Why did you do that? And uh, at the end, they're going to try to sell you. Everything that they used on you, they're going to try to sell it to you. And, you know, as long as you have a friend that can pull you away or you can say, I'll come back later or, you know, I'll think about it, then you get the advice for free and then you can decide later if you really like the product that they used on you or if you want to, you know, go somewhere else and get something similar. But, um, like, that's just, that's free right there. Cause, you know, especially MAC technicians and at MAC, they work off commission. You know, you, they might use like the perfect lipstick on you, and you have to have it because it's like it makes you look so great. So, yeah, I like I definitely love Mac very much. <laughs> so, um, we can talk a little bit about guys' makeup. Like I said before, that you should definitely even out your skin tone. Um, you can also define your cheeks. You don't call it blush for guys, but you can get like a bronzer, you know, or, or just even like I, my guy friends, they've used like brown eyeshadow or something, and they've like defined their cheekbones, you know, for certain characters. You can define, you can like darken a little bit right here to make yourself look more sinister. And uh, like, I don't think it's, I don't think guys need to go as far as wearing lip gloss or eyeliner, but you can definitely do very subtle makeup to enhance your look. And especially, very, very big thing for guys, please, please go and have your eyebrows waxed or tweezed by your girlfriends or something.